Welcome back to my channel, Techno Trend Zone. Exciting news is emerging about Nikon's next big leap in mirrorless technology. According to inside sources, Nikon is in the advanced stages of developing its first consumer camera with a global shutter sensor, tentatively named the Nikon ZX. This new high-speed powerhouse is rumored to be designed to compete directly with flagship models like the Canon EOS R1, Canon EOS R3, and the Sony A9 III. If these reports hold, Nikon could be on the brink of redefining professional sports and wildlife photography. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Nikon ZX is its potential sensor. Historically, Nikon has sourced its image sensors from Sony, which recently introduced a global shutter sensor in the Sony A9 III. Given this long-standing collaboration, it wouldn't be surprising if Nikon integrated a version of that sensor, or a custom variant, into the Nikon ZX. At the core of this rumored mirrorless beast is a 20.4 megapixel sensor. While some might view this as a step back in resolution compared to other flagship models, the real game changer is its ultra-fast readout speed. Reports suggest the sensor can process images in just 0.4 milliseconds, faster than the blink of an eye. This incredible speed virtually eliminates rolling shutter effects and allows for ultra-precise motion capture, making it a dream tool for professional sports and wildlife photographers. Despite limited official information, insiders suggest that Nikon has been developing prototype mirrorless cameras equipped with global shutter technology. These prototypes, initially described as box-style designs, have so far been tested exclusively in controlled laboratory environments rather than real-world conditions. The project's internal name appears to be Nikon ZX, though this may not be the official branding. When it comes to launch timelines and competitive positioning, Sources indicate that the Nikon ZX is being developed to directly challenge the Canon EOS R3 and Sony A9 III. The estimated release date is currently set for Q4 2026. However, Nikon's ambitions don't stop at speed. Another groundbreaking feature rumored for the ZX is its ability to sync with flash at speeds of up to 1 12th, 000 th of a second. This would be a significant leap forward, allowing photographers to capture perfectly lit, high-speed moments with absolute clarity. Imagine freezing the exact millisecond a sprinter crosses the finish line with a perfectly synchronized flash. This level of control could revolutionize high-speed photography. Of course, the photography industry is always flooded with speculation. Yet, this rumor holds substantial weight, especially given previous discussions about a possible Nikon Z9X. That model was also speculated to feature a global shutter sensor, with the H in its name likely referencing Nikon's past high-speed flagship cameras like the Nikon D1H. That model was an upgrade from the original D1, prioritizing speed for professional photographers. Many dismissed the Z9X rumors as baseless speculation, particularly since they followed Sony's A9 III announcement. However, in hindsight, it's entirely possible that the Z9X was simply an early prototype of what we now know as the Nikon ZX. Given the steep cost of global shutter technology in 2023, Nikon may have wisely chosen to wait before bringing such a camera to market. Sony's A9 III debuted at $6,000, positioning it as a specialized professional tool rather than a mainstream offering. It makes sense for Nikon to develop a competitor once the cost of global shutter technology becomes more accessible. Under the hood, the Nikon ZX is rumored to be powered by a dual XP7 processor setup. Nikon has already introduced the XP8 processor in some models, but sources indicate the ZX prototype is currently being tested with dual XP7 chips. This configuration is likely aimed at maximizing performance and managing heat dissipation, crucial for high-speed operations. Nikon's recent strategy has been to offer cutting-edge performance at price points that undercut Canon and Sony's flagship models. The Nikon Z8 and Z9 exemplify this approach, delivering high-end features while remaining competitively priced. If Nikon follows the same playbook, it would make sense for them to wait until global shutter technology becomes more cost-effective before introducing it to the consumer market. Of course, there's always the possibility that the Nikon ZX remains just another unverified rumor. The camera industry is filled with speculation, and many rumored products never make it to production. However, Nikon has been particularly aggressive with its recent releases, signaling a strong commitment to innovation and market leadership. With the Z9 approaching its fourth anniversary, it wouldn't be surprising if Nikon is actively preparing its next-generation flagship mirrorless model. If the Nikon ZX name proves accurate, it could represent a significant evolution for Nikon's mirrorless lineup.
Adding further credibility to the rumors, sources claim that over 50 professional Nikon photographers worldwide will receive pre-production units for testing in Q1 2026. This aligns with Nikon's past approach, distributing early models to professionals to gather real-world feedback before a full-scale release. If this timeline holds, we can expect structured leaks and early hands-on impressions to surface by early 2026. Overall, while the Nikon ZX remains an unconfirmed product, the growing number of reports and logical progression of Nikon's flagship development suggest that something groundbreaking is on the horizon. Whether this camera ultimately launches as the ZX or under another name, a Nikon mirrorless camera with a global shutter sensor seems like an eventual certainty. For now, we'll have to wait and see how this unfolds, but if Nikon stays true to form, the photography world is in for an exciting addition to the mirrorless market. So, what are your thoughts on the Nikon ZX? Or perhaps you're still wondering about the Nikon Z9H? No matter what name it ultimately receives, its performance and capabilities will be what truly matters. Drop your insights in the comments section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to subscribe to Techno Trend Zone for the latest tech and camera news. See you in the next video.